Part two of the Smash or Pass cartoon edition. Let's get started. Would I smash or pass Miss Sarah Bellum of the Powerpuff Girls? She's a definite smash. She has a fine like wine body looking great in a red dress and red shoes. I know everyone has always wondered what her face looked like. Her face has been revealed in the Powerpuff Girls Rule 10th Anniversary TV special in 2008. BAM! Behold, Miss Sarah Bellum's face. That's a pretty face. Still a smash. Would I smash or pass Snow White? She's a smash. She looks beautiful in her dress. She's nice and slender. I love her pale skin, those rosy cheeks, red lips, short wavy black hair, and brown eyes. She is also very gentle, sweet, affectionate, etc. Would I smash or pass Bonnie of Family Guy after her pregnancy, not while she was pregnant? Peter did have a point. Bonnie, you've been pregnant for like six years, all right? Either have the baby or don't. Thank you, Peter. She's voiced by Jennifer Tilly for crying out loud. Quagmire said Bonnie has that boo-boo voice anyways. Would I smash or pass Truffles? <laughs> Truffles of Chowder. Uh, I love Truffles, but she's old enough to be someone's great-grandma. Guess how old Truffles is? 487 years old. So that means she was born on June 2nd, 1525. Jeez, oh, Pete, that's ancient. Plus, she can be mean-spirited bossy, not to mention it's so loud. I wish she had that softer, smoother voice like in that one Chowder episode. This is what Truffles looked like younger. She could get it. Now older, her own husband, Mungdal, and others call her ugly because of what she is on the inside and out. I know why Troubles is mean-spirited and bossy, probably looking at herself in the mirror like, where did I go wrong? Would I smash or pass Daphne Blake of Scooby-Doo? Who wouldn't? That's not even a question. She is a hottie. Red hair, red lips. She looks great in purple. Purple is definitely her color. She has a very nice banging body, especially in that bikini. That's right, Daphne. Lather all that lotion all over you for the sake of your beauty. I love how she likes to doll herself up with makeup, making sure she looks good and painting her toenails. Nice feet, Daph. Sarah Michelle Geller looked hot as Daphne. Would I smash or pass? Velma from Scooby-Doo. I'll smash. Yeah, I know it's all about Daphne, but Velma has those freckles, the sweater and skirt. She's freaking smart, too. The woman that played her in the live-action Scooby-Doo movie pretty much made a very good-looking hot Velma. Would I smash or pass Eva from the Total Drama series? <laughs> Just no. She's aggressive and has anger issues. Would I smash or pass Gwen from the Total Drama series. OMG, Gwen is surely a smash for me. Gwen is cute and hot. Just a, oh my, that's a sexy goth chick right there. I love her short dark hair with blue color in it. Love her blue lips, her pale skin. She looks great in black clothing, including her black two-piece bikini. Not to mention has great taste in wearing some purple skull drawls. <laughs> Looks like the Gophers have won the first challenge. Yeah! Crap! Would I smash or pass? Kimiko Tohomiko. Oh, man, I had a, cr a big crush on her when I was a teen. I mean, look at her. She is so cute with the pigtails, the baby blue eyes, her pink cheeks on her face, red lips, cutest pale Japanese girl right there. Kimiko would also have different hairstyles and outfits. My favorite Kimiko look was in the episode, My Homie Omi, <laughs> when Omi gets lost in New York. 
I love when Kimiko had the hat, rocking those brown dreads, the black belly shirt, green pants, and purple belt. But Kimiko is probably like 13, so I'm going to have to pass. I also know about the Shaolin Chronicles series. Never seen it, but I've seen images of Kimiko older. She looks now like 16 or 17, plus has gotten taller. So uh, poor Omi is still short, but I have to pass because of that. There should be another Shaolin Showdown series where Kimiko is an adult. Would I smash or pass Courtney of the Toll Drama series? Courtney in the first season was nicer and caring, but ever since Harold got her eliminated by getting revenge on Duncan, she's become more bossy, mean, and nasty. But I think I'll still smash her since she is hot. She has the long brunette hair going on, the tan skin, the little freckles on her nose, very nice body. Courtney got some nice uh, butt cheeks on her too. <laughs> she, <laughs> she also looks good in her bra and pink underwear. Plus, she does have spunk and is smart. <sighs> Just wish that girl went back to being sweet in season one. Would I smash or pass Francine Smith of American Dad? For sure, smash. No question. Out Franny in her panty. <laughs> Would I smash or pass Meg Griffin? I have seen people pass on Meg. I'm tired of people saying she's ugly because of her appearance, saying she looks like Peter. Why? Because she wears glasses? I'm telling you, remove her glasses and beanie, and she looks like Lois. They both have the same exact sandwich or Dorito-shaped nose. Same as Zach Harris. Meg is a brunette, but she just doesn't have the luscious lips like her mother. Meg's is rounder. I think people are forgetting her personality. I'll give Meg a smash. I think she's cute. Plus, I, I mean, I'll definitely smash her because I do feel bad for her. Plus, she is voiced by Mila Kunis. Last one? Meg from Family Guy. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, honestly, <laughs> look at this beauty. Look at I'm going to have to just pull out the battery curve. Look, look at the picture we got of her, too. Oh, my God. The battery, the battery curve. The battery curve. Every single one of my friends oh, is, is smashing. No, I'm going to pass on Meg. You're smashing. I got you'd the be like the, You'd be the talk of the town because like everybody makes fun of her. So if you're the guy that... You know who's trying to smash her? What's his name? Ned? The, the He's speaking? not even trying to smash her. Yeah. Um, that's a definite... That's a definite pass. It's Mila Kunis' voice. That's enough to get Oh, Mila Kunis' voice? Smash. See, these guys would smash because she's voiced by Mila. I thought Meg looked cute in her security uniform in that one episode. Meg was the hottest at the Quahog Airport. But then that one witch who had a potato egg shaped body was jealous of Meg. Oh, boo hoo, get a grip. Would I smash or pass? Eris, goddess of chaos from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. For sure, smash. Her and Jack O'Lantern are my two favorite villains of the series. Grim had a crush on her when she was going through her valley girl phase. <laughs> More like Eris, the hottest goddess of chaos. Would I smash or pass Vamber of Mighty Magiswords? That's not even a question. No hesitation. Of course I would smash her. Vamber is so freaking cute and is so hot. Wearing that green leotard. I love her British accent and I'm digging her purple hair. Her British accent and her purple hair makes me think of Rarity from uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic because of the purple hair and, and the accent. I mean, Rarity doesn't really have a British accent, but her accent makes me think of Vambers. It's kind of, in a way, kind of similar. Not to mention those nice legs that Vamber has. Look at, at Vamber's legs. I'm like Beast Boy and Teen Titans Go. Them legs. Look at them legs. Look at them legs. They're amazing. Look at them legs. Would I smash or pass <laughs> Amethyst of Steven Universe? <laughs> you know what? I'll smash Amethyst. I mean, I love Amethyst. I, I like her, uh, the color of her skin tone. I love her pale lavender uh, hair. Plus, she is funny. She's a riot. She's fun to be around with. And she seems pretty cool and fun to be around. She's carefree. 
good-hearted and protective. She's got those plump lips going on. Lastly, would I smash or pass Dr. Girlfriend of the Venture Brothers? Mm, well, there's been some rumors saying that she's uh, had a sex change, but those are just rumors. But my, so I hope if that's just rumors, I'll give her a smash. Although it's too bad that she has a really deep voice. Maybe she was doing a lot of smoking that caused her to really have a deep voice and sound like that. I don't know. That's got to be the case because it really would be nice for her to have a really nice, smooth, softer, sexier voice. I just think that fits better. Anyways, this has been my uh, Smash or Pass Cartoon Edition Part 2. I think I'm going to do one for celebrities and uh, YouTubers. But, you know, anyways, hope you enjoyed. See ya.